bonjour and welcome to Viva Tech 15. This is our very first episode of a series of weekly meetings to catch up on tech news from all around the world. Starting today, we meet every Thursday for a coffee break or tea if you prefer to take you on a world tour to decipher the latest tech trends, discover great innovations and kick-ass startups. You will also get some insights about the next edition of VivaTech in Paris coming up June 15th to 18th. Mark down your calendars, guys. You need to be there or be square. Just kidding. So I'm here at VivaTech's headquarters in Paris. In the kitchen, as you can see, like many kitchens, we all know this is where the best parties take place. So we cooked you some great stuff. Buckle up, we're gonna have fun. If you like what you're seeing and don't want to miss the next episode, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. To kick off this world tour, we are starting from our home base, France, and I'm super excited to welcome one of our leading entrepreneurs, Frederic Mazella, founder and CEO of BlaBlaCar, the international car sharing app. But before we welcome Fred, let me share a few mind-blowing facts about French tech and blah blah car. It's time for the insider. Did you know that France is now counting 26 unicorns, making the country third in Europe, right behind Germany with 33 and the UK with 55. In 2021 only, France added 12 unicorns in a single year and the amount of money was doubled compared to 2020 with more than 11 billion euros raised. French startups created 1 million direct and indirect jobs more than conventional companies. I've also done some research about my pal. Here are some blah blah facts for you and it's pretty mind-blowing. BlaBlaCar has 100 million members, 20 million just here in France, in 22 countries. Well, that's a lot of languages to master, right? Every year, BlaBlaCar saves 1.6 million tons of CO2 emissions. Good job. Since the creation of the service, the BlaBlaCar community has completed 30 million kilometers of carpooling. Just to give you a scale, that's 750 times the tour of the globe. 120 million human connections are created annually through blah blah car. 120 million people meet and talk. I'm pretty sure there's some really nice stories to tell behind. We'll find out with Fred right away in the kitchen talk. Hi Fred, welcome to our kitchen. How are you? Hi yes, sir. I'm very right. well, thanks. Right, so just for, but you don't need introduction, but just for our audience, you are Blah Blah Car's uh, founder, a car sharing app, and also the co-president of France Digital, Europe's largest startup network. And I know that recently you also released your first book, uh, Mission Blah Blah Car, telling about your journey as an entrepreneur. When did you have time to do this? <laughs> well, um, you know, just like many things, when you build a company, it's the same thing late at night and uh, sometimes uh, at the beginning of the night as well, you find time where it's very, very quiet and you can concentrate a lot. All right. That's the thing we have in common. I do all my writing at night. Well done. So, Fred, let's jump into the topic matter. You know, there are lots of things going on right now in France. We've heard the recent announcement of President Macron, the French president, about the 25th unicorn. Right. That's, you know, it w we were supposed to reach that target in 2025. We've already reached it. So this is amazing. So can you tell us how come we're thriving so much? Well, I think we've seen it coming, I would say. Uh, it's been a few years, like the ecosystem uh, of startups has been thriving in France. And now it's arriving to a, a point of maturity where actually companies do not raise anymore a few millions or a few dozens of millions. They actually raise uh, hundreds of millions. And so now we see it a bit more uh, in terms of the number of companies. Of course, there are a lot more startups and scale ups. But um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been in the making for years. All right, so are we coping or even doing better than the Silicon Valley 
almost. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. we're doing great, but uh, we're not quite there. I mean, we, we've got 25 or 26 maybe unicorns now uh, in France. It's good, but uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, there are like uh, 644 unicorns in the US. Um, so it's still a, a ratio uh, of times five uh, compared to the number of uh, unicorns per inhabitant. So, oh. yeah. We, we We've still got there. lots of work to do. We're getting there. So that's good to hear. So probably some insight on what, what's, how can we, you know, differentiate uh, from, from others, from other players, other countries, other ecosystems? What's the difference? Well, I think uh, what we see in the businesses that uh, come out of France and Europe is a certain sense of uh, the values that are defended by the businesses. Uh, if I think about circular economy or about uh, impact uh, businesses uh, that I've been creating here, uh, it's kind of a differentiator. We've seen, uh, so that's why we, we've pushed uh, the Check for Values movement with uh, France Digital, which is the association of startups that I'm uh, the co-president for. Mm -hmm. and, and so we see that um, some world leaders come from here and, and deal with some uh, impact solutions. Like I, I think about the back market, you know, which is a circular economy for like all the uh, smartphones and all the objects we have, which we can um, recycle, reuse, uh, you know, through, uh, through a marketplace. You've got companies like Insect uh, who actually produce um, food for animals but based on insects, which is a lot less uh, polluting than uh, anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, you have, of course, uh, so BlaBlaCar, you know, we've got also, so BlaBlaCar for like uh, uh, car pooling and so making uh, less uh, CO2 emissions from our transport. Uh, by pulling people in cars. Today, BlaBlaCar is 100 million people in total and 20 million uh, members in France, which is uh, more than one third of the people who, who are traveling. So it's a, it's a lot. And we also see in the food sector as well uh, with Phoenix or Too Good mm -hmm. To Go or Olio, some companies who are like uh, um, changing the way we can share foods and not pollute as much. So it's, <laughs> it's kind of um, a trend. Right. So um, let's get back to you, Fred. So you founded BlaBlaCar like 15 years ago and before the iPhone was even a thing. What would you say? Is it easier today or was it harder back then? Or I don't know. Tell me. Well, it's kind of tough to do some A-B testing, you know. Um, I cannot like compare uh, exactly right now because all the conditions are always different. But yeah, for sure. I think it's easier to uh, to find entrepreneurs with whom you can talk because there okay. are a lot more entrepreneurs now. Mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, easier to find funds, I think, to find money because there's a lot more money. You know, it's been multiplied by 10 in seven years. So like last year alone, uh, more than 11 billion were raised by companies. So like there are a lot of money coming in. And um, but also one thing which is always hard is to recruit. You know, when your your team is scaling, you need mm. to find talent and now with the excess of um, liquidity and lots of money which has been injected in the ecosystem uh, the the war for talent is like uh, totally fierce uh, any company which grows and raises money has to find talent right. and uh, they're all training so and it's, it's really whatever tough. whatever the industry i'm guessing well fred you know a lot has changed in mobility as well uh, share, shared mobility wasn't a thing back then so today i know that w you are in 22 countries and what can you say do we face the same mobility challenges like you know in france uh, in russia india or uh, brazil for example well, no, no two countries are the same, but uh, what we see is that we're complementary to whatever exists. Uh, so in Brazil, there's no trains, and then of course, BlaBlaCar is very popular. Um, but also when you have trains and buses, uh, carpooling like uh, really um, picks up. So we now see cars as a shareable thing, just like mm -hmm. the other means of transport. And thanks to technology, we are able to connect them, to connect all the cars and uh, to find seats in cars where before it was not possible at all to, to know that there were there was a free inventory. Mm. Um, so there are some cultural differences between countries, but still, uh, wherever you have a, a road on the smartphone, you can find a blah, blah, car. Thank you so much. Really interesting. And we will see. Have, are you going to be at Vivitech in June? Hopefully. You're going to meet there. For sure. Yeah. I think it's on the 15th, right? It's on 15th the 15th, June 15th to 18th. It's in so my agenda. 
<laughs> right, sure. it's on the agenda. So I hope to see you there. Probably we can have coffee. Thank you so much. It was great having you on the show today. And let me remind our audience, you know, guys, June 15th to 18 in Paris, be there. And uh, meanwhile, for those who are interested, you know, to learn more about Fred's journey, Mission Blah Blah Car, so go get your copy. And Fred, I want mine signed. Okay, that's your mission. Okay. <laughs> we'll <do> that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, great. Right. Thank you so much. And uh, Thank you so much. see you in June. Cheers. Bye. See you in June. Bye bye. And also, hope to see you in a couple of months at Viva Technology. Remember, guys, June 15th to 18th in Paris. And meanwhile, for those who are interested to learn more about Fred's journey, Mission Blah Blah Car. Feel free to go and get your copies. So you guys are staying with us. We're not done yet. So what's hot lately in the French tech ecosystem of startups? Alexi tells us all in the Tech Radar. Hey, Alexi, what's up? How are you? It's good to see you. Hi, Asha. So when I knew we were hosting Frederick Mazella, I just had to prepare you a little surprise. Oh, I'm excited. But just before we get into it, I wanted to share with you some of the most amazing innovations in mobility. Right, now I'm curious, what have you got? So uh, the first one is called Opium, and it's a French company that we had the chance to invite last year at Vivatech, where they were presenting for the first time their hydrogen-powered car, and it's absolutely amazing. Outstanding innovation, don't miss it. The second one is called SciVision. They're working on next generation heads up display in vehicles. So basically, it means that they send directly information into your eyes while you're driving. This is sick. I need this. For people like me, it's perfect. <laughs> and the last one is called Poimo. And it's probably one of my most uh, preferred innovations in the whole world. And they're working <laughs> on uh, inflatable mobility. So basically, it means that you can have your back in your backpack. And when you just need to move, you take it out, blow in it, and off you go. Wow. I want to test it. This is now my new favorite innovation. So can we test it? Can we try? With a bit of luck, you, Asha, and maybe you, if you come at VivaTech in June, you might be able to try it out. You know, that's one of the reasons that you need to be there. So that was the surprise. No, Asha, that wasn't the surprise. So what is the surprise then? You need to come with me. Okay. Come. <laughs> so this is a surprise, Asha. This is wicked. <laughs> this is actually the Concept ERS by DAB Motors. Um, and it's, it's, only, it's already available, but very few people have got the chance to put their hands on it. Right, you mean it's a limited edition? It's a limited edition, but I'll come to that in a minute. Uh, what's important here is that it's what they call a street legal experiment. So okay. basically, it started as kind of an experiment, but it it's, it's became real because people just loved it. And it's already pretty impressive uh, because it can go up to 100 kilometers per hour, per hour uh, in only weight like 137 kilos. So it's, it's really light um, and it has like 100 um, kilometers of autonomy battery. It's, it's pretty impressive. It's crazy. You know what I'm going to ask you now? Yeah. Can I, think I try I it? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course you try it. Let's do this. Right. This is... How does it feel? Perfect. I'll give you the key. Okay. If I just click there. All right. And I let you put the keys right there. And, and it's on. Super smart. Um, the thing that I love about the project is that they're completely rethinking the way that people are, th are like behaving with electric mobility. So basically what you're standing on is not just a uh, DAB Motors standard edition. It's the number one of the 20 only limited edition that's been done with Burberry. Fantastic. Uh, it's on sale already? It's on sale, uh, but it's pretty expensive. It's <laughs> 30000 uh, Okay, but, uh, you can buy a car with that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's worth <laughs> it. I'm sure it's worth it. <laughs> this is great. So that's brilliant. So amazing innovation. It's, it's, um, it's great. So well, can I take it home? Of course. <laughs> yes, please do. <laughs> right. Fantastic, Alexi. Thank you so much. Great innovations. You've made us travel with all those brilliant innovations. We've been looking forward to see them at Vivatech this year. I hope so. <laughs> more to come. Thank you very much, Alexi. Amazing innovation. And we are going to discover some more next week in the second episode. Don't miss it, but also in June at Vivatech. Well, now, if you're a startup and you want to join us at Vivatech this year, it's possible. You can apply to the startup challenges. You have all the information appearing right now at the bottom of your screen. Now, have you got your tickets? No? 
Well, they're on sale right now, almost half price. Don't miss it. Well, we have reached the end of this first episode. I'm going to leave you with Fred in the speakeasy. See you all. It's above 40,000. Uh, night all. Ah, uh, so many people. Maybe Bono. Uh, it's not going to happen the way you sell. Both. Ah, it depends on the moment. Michelle Obama. <laughs> <laughs>